So yeah, 100% transform the drum beat. What's up? It's Life Band here. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Um, this is my first music production tutorial. I thought about starting these for a very long time. So finally, here I am. I've been producing music for eight years now, professionally for five, working in all kinds of different studios as a writer and producer with a ton of different artists doing everything from hip-hop to rock to pop to R&B to singer-songwriter. You get it. But I'm also a singer and artist myself, where most of you know me from, and gained over 8 million streams on Spotify alone, releasing through my own label. And right now, we're here in my own studio in Berlin. So I think it's fair to say I've seen all kinds of different sides of the music business and I thought I'd help you guys out with sharing some of my experiences, especially around writing and production in today's fast and competitive session context. So if you have anything you want me to talk about or show you, leave a comment and let me know. So for today's tutorial, I wanted to show you guys one fundamental hack to take your boring old drum grooves and turn them into something that feels impressive, moves forward, and makes your head knock, no matter what genre. And this tip is something that I stole from the Backstreet Boys, or more specifically those early Max Martin productions. In case any of you don't know who Max Martin is, he is literally the one legend of pop music, if I'd have to choose one. A producer originally from Sweden, whose productions shaped the sound of countless artists, like the Backstreet Boys, Britney Spears, Pink, Katy Perry, Taylor Swift, to even Ariana Grande and The Weeknd. So it's safe to say, I guess he knows his stuff. And what he did, especially in those early Backstreet Boys productions, which I can't play for copyright reasons, obviously, is thinking of the drum groove as a clockwork, at least how I would describe it, meaning a drum groove like <laughs> is then enriched with hits between the main kick and snare pattern, like and that alone makes the whole groove move forward in an incredible way. Quick side note, this kind of technique, filling in those offbeats, is also a staple in house music. A sound that we usually don't want in urban or pop productions, but something to keep in your toolkit. And there are a bunch of different ways how you could do this. Using percussion sounds, hats, or accenting your hi-hat patterns. Or even a rhythmic guitar, for example, or some other kind of instrument. But let's jump into Logic and look at the session for one of my songs, Hating You, which is out on Spotify, and have a look how I did it in this production. So let me just play the section, and then I'll loop the instrumental to show you what's going on. I kinda wish we didn't have to do this But all we do is mess it up Kinda wish we didn't have to face it So let's just get the instrumental, which in this part is only drums, bass, and piano. And these are the drums. So watch what happens to the feel of the beat when I take away the percussion, which in this case plays exactly that role of filling those off beats. It falls apart. And yeah, maybe it sounds okay, but it's incredibly boring. So let's add all the eighth note accents. Do you see what I mean when I describe it as a clockwork? And then when I add the 16th note accents, it just drives it in a whole different kind of way. So yeah, 100% transform the drum beat. And then in this later part, I even added those house hi-hats in a very subtle kind of way. But since we're in 80 BPM right now, I think it works without sounding too cheap. All those eighth note accents just make it move forward in an incredible way. And then the whole instrumental at that section. And 
I promise you, if you didn't know this, this will completely transform your drum grooves or the way you think about drum grooves. So yeah, this is what I wanted to show you. I hope it helps you out with your own productions. Go now and make your own fire drum. Let me know if that helped and what you want to see next in the comments. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to not miss out on all the secret production goodness I'm about to share on this channel. See you in the next one. Peace out.